Welcome everybody to the semi-final of the Epe Grand Prix here in Cairo. We introduce the athletes out for female fencers. In the first of the semi-finals is Oria Malo of France against Catherine Holmes of the USA. And Song Sera, world rank number eight, is up against the world rank number three from Korea, Choi In Jong. It's an all Korean affair in the second of the semi finals. So here we go. The fences are ready. Orian Malo, well, she came through from the 64. Defeated Hadley Hussein, the uh, the young American. And then went through, defeated her teammate, Marie Florence Candassamy. And then took out Natalie Mulhausen, the world champion, to get to the semi-final stage. And, and Anna Kun of Hungary, Catherine Holmes, well, her progression through was against Alexandra Bozza of Italy, uh, the young French fencer Eloise Van Riesel, and then Kong Vivian, Vivian Manwai Kong of Hong Kong, world rank number six. And then in the semi-finals, Laurent Rombi of France. So Catherine Holmes of the USA up against Aurea Malo. So the fences are ready, the referees are ready. And we'll get things underway. Oriane Malo on the left of your screens, Catherine Holmes of the USA on the right. This is Epe. If you're new to fencing, then the whole body is the target. It's a point weapon. And what sets it aside from the other two weapons is that doubles can be scored. If you score simultaneously, then two lights come up and both the fences will get a point. And uh, as if by magic, they do just that. And the scores uh, get underway with a double. Oria Malo going for the attack. Catherine Holmes there able to double it out. So both fences quite active looking for a way through and Marlow getting the single light the all-important single light establishing her lead Catherine Holmes from Princeton New Jersey levels the scores Did a higher education homes in uh, neurological science and psychology. Whereas Aurea Malo is a uh, qualified massage therapist and physiotherapist. So both opting to uh, do education with a sporting connection. Holmes going down the more psychological route, whereas Malo going down the more physical physiotherapy route. Double scored. So just looking at the head to head between these fences, they have met in the past. Well, they've met three times in the past. 
And the last time they met was back in 2018 at the Grand Prix in Cali, which is incidentally where this Grand Prix originally was going to be held. And Marlow won that one 39. And prior to that, well, they met in pool competitions at the Grand Prix in Rio and the World Cup in Johannesburg. So they're not hanging about, no passivity in this particular bout. Both defences looking to go out and fence their opponent, looking to be positive, looking for a way through. Catherine Holmes so disciplined, very experienced, works so hard. Aurien Marlowe, part of this French team that's been rejuvenated by the coaching team of uh, the dream team of Hughes Aubry, who's been joined uh, by the classic uh, Gauthier Grumier, one of the best fencers in the world in his time. Grumier won uh, the bronze medal in Rio in the individual part of that team that won the gold medal. The men's French team Epe. As they go to the break. And that looks like it is Grumier there just coaching Marlow. Catherine Holmes, well... Still very much in this. 5-3 the score. So you've got to say that Marlow got the better of that first period. Two points, although it doesn't sound like much. Uh, can be really important in Epe. Holmes can't sit back. Doesn't want to get passivity called. So 5-3 the score as we go into the second period. If you're new to fencing, they're fencing up to 15. Or in Epe, the, the clock can make a difference. So here we go. Watch Oriya Malo. She's very front-footed. If you watch the action of her footwork, she's part of a new breed, the new breed of, of fencers that came through. Good work from Catherine Holmes there. Distance so important in Epe. The footwork, 75% of the game to be able to get into distance. Holmes definitely doing the pressing here. Holmes is the one that's trying. And good work from the American to level the score. So now sometimes when the scores go level, you get a little bit of a lull, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. Both of these fencers are really positive in their movements, positive in their actions, They're always looking to press, always looking to go forward. If you look at the difference in footwork, the really wide stance for Marlow. 
Holmes has taken the lead. Well, that one was so quick. Oriel Malo straight off the block, Sabre style, to level the score. So quick we couldn't actually see that. I saw it live, but not on the screen. So six apiece. Marlow has now upped her level of intensity. Marlow with that super wide stance. Compare that to Catherine Holmes, whose gait moves. Nice point from Orien Malo. Well, that was the chance. Catherine Holmes attacking from a little bit too far out. And Malo able to pick her off on the way through. Malo trying to draw the attack from Holmes. Take the blade and close out in Octave. And it's working for the French fencer. Four points now at this stage. So definite change in tactic for Marlo. Trying to work off the blade of Holmes and they'll see this one out Holmes with some thinking to do four points well it's not uh, she's not out of it yet but there's some real work that uh, Catherine Holmes needs to put into this Orien Malo well definitely had the better of that second period as we watch some of the replays So we go. Will we see a change of tactic from Catherine Holmes? Marlow did so well in that second period. Letting Holmes push, inviting her on, keeping the distance close, and then uh, drawing Holmes in and defending off Holmes' blade. So maybe now Holmes will try and change tactics, maybe go for second intention, wait for that uh, octave parry. Well, it's definitely going the way of Oria Malo. With such a lead, she 
doesn't need to attack. You can invite Catherine Holmes on. Double scored. It's only going to help the French fencer from this point in. Remember, we're fencing 2.15 if you're new to fencing. It's the first to reach the score of 15. Another double. So Marlo keeping the distance really, really tight. Closing the distance nicely. Another double will bring Aurea Marlo to just one point away from victory in the first of these semi-finals. Oh, that's it. Oria Malo has won it. 15-9. It was comfortable in the end. It was a close match in the first period, but Oria Malo really was able to outfox her opponent there. It was really about keeping that distance close, inviting the American on and then working off the blade. Super confident display from Oria Malo. As we look at some of the replays from this match, it was a masterclass in the end from the French fencer. So confirmation of the score, 59 in the end, Aurien Malo of France.